Another thought and a memory just came to me about me taking this road um, by myself when I still stayed in uh, Topak and worked at River Palms and um, you were working in Vegas then. I think you were on the MGM or maybe New York, New York. But um, I, so I, when I'd get off work um, on my Friday, I would drive to Vegas to spend my weekend with you. And um, I remember making this drive so many times alone um, so we could be together. And then uh, one night I worked swing shift and you called and he told me I needed to come there because um, you were having this pain in your chest. And I said, well, you need to go to the emergency right now. You could be having a heart attack. And you instead insisted, oh no, I'm not having a heart attack. I'm fine. Just come here. I was so frustrated uh, and worried I thought he's having a heart attack and he's too stubborn to call for help. So when we hung up, I called 911 in Vegas and explained the situation and told them where you were. And um, they went and got you. And uh, in the meantime, I told my supervisor that I was leaving, that I needed to go to Vegas, that my, my husband was. I think on his way to the hospital, which you were, you went with the paramedics and they took you to the ER. And uh, when I got there, you were fine. You weren't having a heart attack, but um, you did go to the ER and they checked you out. You had eaten your stupid 99 cent spaghetti from, I can't remember the name of the place, but it was next to the it was so ridiculous. 99 cent spaghetti. And you were staying at this place that I think you paid like $20 a night. It was old. Not the glass bottom pool. It was the Fez. F-E-Z. You were staying at the Fez because you were too cheap to pay for a decent place. So, no. Yeah, yeah. At the Fez. So I go there and you're in the ER and everything turned out to be fine. But after that episode, I decided that um, I was no longer going to stay in Topak and work in Laughlin, that I was going to go be with you in Las Vegas. So, so much for that memory.